Good evening, I'm Bart Bensel. And I'm Heather Skoll. Thanks for making us your choice for your news at 10 o'clock. We begin tonight in Colorado Springs, where one store owner is pleading for change after a scary ordeal. After the owner refused to serve a man yesterday, that person was then caught on camera violently tearing the store apart while hurling racial slurs at the shopkeeper. Investigative reporter Sean Rice has obtained startling video of the incident. He's live outside that 7-Eleven off Uinta and I-25 with a message from that owner. Sean. Yeah, Barton Heather, Christopher Alaz, the owner of this 7-Eleven here behind me, has roots to trace all the way back to Lebanon, but he's been an American citizen for years. But that didn't stop this assailant from telling him to get out of the country. Alaz telling me this type of behavior is now par for the course in an area where it's getting difficult to do business while also keeping safe. A Colorado Springs 7-Eleven owner, the victim of a storefront outburst. This video shows James Felter walk into the convenience store to buy a vape, but when he didn't have the money for it, store owner Christopher Alaz refused him service. He walks in and he starts like threatening us, using like extremely like vicious words, uh, using like, you know, racial statements that, you know, we're from a different country, that we came to this country and we took the jobs of those people in this country. After being verbally accosted, Felter is seen exiting the store and throwing parts of a trash can into the parking lot. He then re-enters the store and throws numerous items to the floor, all while continuing to hurl slurs toward the store owner. And he's threatening us, claiming that he has a gun on him, he has a weapon, that he's about to shoot all of us in the store. So I immediately called 911 because I was scared to my life. Right as Colorado Springs police arrived, Felter is seen charging at a laws before being tackled by a police officer. Felter now faces felony menacing charges as well as multiple misdemeanors, including committing a bias motivated crime. But Alaz's focus has turned towards calling attention to the conditions he has to work through, including rampant shoplifting and loitering by unhoused people. I hope like the city council or the state can figure out something about that situation because we're losing business. Uh, the store image is not looking good because people like, you know, hang out all night long. Felter is currently in the El Paso County Jail on a $2,000 bond. As for Alaz, he told me today he simply wants to be treated with respect. No matter what religion you practice or what color you are, he told me this type of behavior should never be the way we treat one another. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Sean Rice, 13 Investigates. Sean, thank you.